Let's go on a comment adventure together. We haven't had one of those in a bit. And, well, let's be honest. Call for an up uh, call for an uprising fans are are fun to just read the comments of. So, let's go ahead and take a look in here. Let's see what what fun stuff we can find out. Unfortunately, you guys, for us to be able to read, I'm going to have to hop out the chat box for a second. Or realistically, I'm going to have to put it somewhere else, but I don't want to do that, so. We have here God loves you. Whether you agree or disagree, we as Christians still respect the difference of opinion and talk it out in conversation. But the Bible is never wrong. Oh, you respect the difference of opinion, but yours is never wrong. Huh. Everything you said can be countered with the word of God. Please repent. How? Look up the ABCs of repentance. A, B, C, one, two, three. Won't you burn in hell with me? And then you'll be able to know Jesus' love. Jesus said, Whoever believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He died for our sins. So we don't have, 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 have to spend one sec in hell. If you don't believe in God, read the Bible. If you ever have any questions about life or why you are here, read the Bible. Because the answer to life is love. Ah, I wasn't aware the answer to life was love. Okay. Cool. Why did I get prostate cancer? Love. Why am I gonna die? Love. Okay, why did my girlfriend leave me? Love. Literally, everything. Answer to everything. Love. Apparently. Has to be. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Okay, so. Yes, they are censoring LM kinds of people now, but I guess that's imaginary. I didn't say censorship was imaginary in the video. I just said that it's one thing to point out that it happens, and a completely different thing to cry about it in the amount that Call does. Let's see here. Either you got some jaundice going on, or if you got to watch your boyfriend's ass off your face. Wait a minute. Is this one of the videos where the orange came out badly? Yeah, that's one of the videos where the orange came out badly. I'm sorry. That's why I hide behind a cartoon again. Too many artists just screaming over this comment section is just disappointing. To see that sections of humanity have regressed this far, y'all just blackface humanity as a whole. I don't know how to feel about this comment. I feel like it's talking about Calls fans. I'm almost 100% certain it's talking about Calls fans. But don't be like this guy. I'm not just going to crap on Calls fans. I'll crap on you too. Ableism bad, okay? You're a moron using deflection. What a dork. Oh, okay. Well. You're fat. <laughs> I think. I don't, I don't know. Why is your communist emasculated COVID worshipping ass worried about it? Wait, hold on. So, first of all, not a communist. I'm a socialist. Most people understand this who watch the channel. Secondly, emasculated, I'll have you know, these bounce fine. Secondly, thirdly, actually this is thirdly, worshipping COVID? Why would I worship COVID? It's so small. Like, I understand worshipping things that are small and insignificant is basically a thing that people in this comment section probably do all the time, but realistically, why would you do that? The only thing I would complain about him is that he doesn't talk about the transmutator slash philosopher's stone agenda? Maybe if he did, less people would fall for liars like yourself. Nice clavicles, forehead, jaw, and finger ratios you've got there? What the fuck? Why is this bitch talking about my clavicles? What does that have to do with anything? What does my clavicles have to do with anything? Prideless chicks with 1.12k subscribers? Who, who the hell are you? Prideless chicks. I solved the mystery. What is this? Hey guys, today's a big day. Um... Ah, 
<laughs> oh, sheesh, man. Okay. So, um, I don't know if y'all heard me talk about this. What? Did he say he has conversations with his younger self? No, I was pointing out that if I could have a conversation with my younger self, I would tell him how disappointed I was with him. But, you know. Uh, but, apparently, somebody just goes, Why are you so obsessed with Culford Uprising? It's strange! Why is Culford Uprising obsessed with lies? Why is that? In reality, though, the, the reason is simple. I think his views are harmful, and free speech is a thing. So, going down here, you're dumb as fuck. Research what he says, and then you can confirm that he's stating facts. Ah, yes. Everything is satanic and demonic because we have definitely confirmed the existence of Satan and demons. Right. I agree. Except not really. Why is, why is Ron Jeremy doing videos in an eight-year-old boy's bedroom? I love these comments. I really do. So we get, I get a ton of comments like this where people are like, Oh my God, you've got Pokemon in your, in your bedroom and that makes, you, you, that's childish. Or, or, you know, the less uh, charitable ones will say things like, uh, that makes you a, a uh, child predator. But realistically, I grew up with Pokemon. I like it. Screw you. I've made plenty of videos on why I do what I do. But continuing on, <clears throat> Jesus loves you. Please permit and be saved. Nah. You are working for the devil. Ah, yes. The devil. He's definitely paid me lots of money. That's how I afford. That's how I afforded this, this, uh, this magical Neko body. Dear, from Deborah. Dear Surus, we hate you. Thank you. I love, love a call for an uprising. This guy, Cirrus or Cirrus or Sinus Nasal Drainus Infection. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to change my Twitter name to that one. Guys, I am, so, I am Sinus Nasal Drainage Infection. The skeptic. It's perfect. Who the hell is this doorknob? Whoa. Who is this wiener head? Can you imagine being an adult in 2021 and calling someone a wiener head? <laughs> oh, only on for a month and a half? Sorry, I missed it. Sure glad that I belong to Paul's website. I'll check it out there. Paul's website. Talking about call for an uprising? Why would I? Okay, yeah, go ahead and advertise his website. I don't care. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. What else do we have in here? You're just a plain idiot. You paid full, fully grown loser. Yes, I am paid. By YouTube uh, freaking advertisements and by Patreon. Okay, so... And? Call gets paid too. Thanks for, the <laughs> Thanks for the wonderful advice. I can see the level of intelligence you have with all your toys there. What did I even respond to that? Ah, I can see your unoriginal ad hom. Yeah, I'll keep that one. I'll keep that response. Uh, let's see. Dude, you know what sucks heaps? Being lied to. And we hate admitting that we were fools. But if you absolutely trust your leaders and authorities who are basically forcing a rushed vaccine into our bodies and restricting our rights, then you are much more of a naive fool than many others. They, in this instance, is the political, environmental, entrepreneurial, and technology authorities. Our, our current, the grammar is astounding, are currently pushing for less farmland, zero meat, and all food either grown in a lab or via corrupt M.O. seeds. What is an M.O. seed? Is that, a, is that Monsanto? Hold on. What is it? What the fuck is an M.O. seed? Missouri Crop Improvement Association? That doesn't sound... That doesn't sound scary. Okay, well... Everything is compartmentalized, so nobody really understands what they're doing. But inevitably... Oh, God, you wrote a book! He wrote a book! No! <laughs> okay, so instead of reading your fucking book... 
<laughs> it's on here on screen if anybody else wants to read it. They can do that. If you mean GMOs, all of our food's been genetically modified for years and nobody's died from just food being modified in general. There are certain modifications to food that could certainly make it dangerous. But merely being modified isn't an issue. Like, if you do you like bananas? Mr. Section 7? Do you like bananas? I hear it's an atheist. What's nightmare? You know that those are cloned, right? That's a genetic modification. But, you know, go on. Do you like corn? Mustard? Broccoli? All of those are genetically modified. Every one of them. Just... Uh... So, I, I like this, this fear-mongering here. And you know what? If all of our meat was grown in a lab, that would be better. Like, let's be honest. I'm not a vegetarian, nor am I a vegan. But, if all meat was lab-grown, that would be a functionally better society than the one we have right now where we do rely on animal slaughter. Now, this is coming from somebody who's not a vegetarian, nor a vegan. Apparently, this guy is afraid that the vegans are gonna, I don't know, out-meet him or something? Dude's scared. Your phone has a camera, you jackass. LOL, this guy's a mediocre bland. Okay, so I know what he's talking about. So I, I asked Call in his video uh, that does it, uh, what, what cameras is everybody shoving in their house? Who's, who's putting cameras all in their house? And while I have a camera that I'm using for broadcast purposes, and then there's obviously a camera on my phone, um, you can disable those cameras, right? And it's as easy as like shoving a needle in the lens, and then suddenly the camera just doesn't work anymore. The thing's busted. Like, people put cameras in their home, but they're completely and totally disableable. Your idol is Pokemon and you're mocking Christians? My idol's not Pokemon, Karen. Or sorry, Andrea DiLorenzo. Of course, oh, Section 7! The book author responded. Evil is now cool. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Oh my god, do you really think Pokemon's evil? Really? Okay. You know, that's fine. You know what? I grew up in Pensacola Christian Academy. I I have dealt with this level of insanity before. I pray it's not too late for you to repent. It's gonna be a horrific awakening upon the return of the Lord, who is your creator. I have a question, Andrea Karen. I have a question for you. How long have you been waiting for your God? Just, just curious just curious because if your argument is gonna be that that your god's gonna come spank me or some shit don't make me wait that long i'm not into edging you are dumb get a life get off youtube loser wait so you're call for an uprising fan i assume right maybe you should <laughs> tell your dude to get off youtube maybe how pathetic do you have to be to hope someone else gets silenced? Well, let's see. If someone was calling for my death, or the death of my friends, or that they should be thrown into a mental institution for no good reason, I think it would be perfectly acceptable for me to want them to be silenced. I mean, after all, if somebody's saying that dumb shit, what's wrong with telling them to shut the fuck up? Oh, wait a minute. Call did that when he was on my stream. You're like a real-life soy jack. Oh, yay. I love... It. Yep, soy. I consume all the soy. I shove it in my mouth. It's it's how I it's how I grew these, these bouncing boobies. Ten... Uh, soy out of ten is how these came to be. Every one of them. Exactly. You're right. Pizzagate is a front for the organization. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. This guy is a joker. This is some adult sitting in his current old childhood room in his mom's house, not even knowing what he's talking about. <laughs> I built my I built 40% of my house with my own bare hands. Fuck off. Stick to talking about the toys you play with behind you, buddy. It's not the Jews. The truth movement isn't blaming the Jews. I think you'll find that it actually is. The elites aren't all Jewish, but 
some are <laughs> some are black and white yellow any color hey youtube your censoring algorithm missed this guy you need to demonetize this one too these creeps may oh look it's prideless chick oh my god she's back i'm so happy Ah, uh, Twilord, thank you very much for the donation. Why do these folks make me think of Sonic not wanting classic Sonic about the impending alien invasion and Booby Trap Super Weapon needed to stop it? Uh, let's see here. These creeps make videos like this all year long, but if we put this on our channel for a day, we'd get another strike. Judging by this person's skeleton, it seemed like they're being left in peace for a reason. Judging by this person's skeleton. Oh my god, did we find a phrenologist? Oh, that's so cute! We found a phrenologist, a wannabe genetic racist! We did it! Ha! Ha ha ha! Ah, it's funny. She, she thinks she can see into my skeleton. That's hilarious. Just keep to Pokemon, fat boy. Just sad you don't have as much subscribers, even though you are still monetized. Dude, okay, so, like, let's... Let, real talk. For, between me and you... Between me and you, I wish I had more subscribers. You're right. I do. I really would like to have more subscribers. This is true. But I don't want you guys. Like, like the people in this comment section standing call for an uprising, those aren't the subscribers I want. <laughs> I don't want a single one of you guys. You guys can fuck right off. Go sub to call. Stay sub to him. I have, I have, no, I have literally zero want to be even within 30 feet of any of you. Can I get a restraining order against, like, every single fan of A Call for an Uprising at once? Can I please do that? Forgot to ask, do you get your diabetes strips from the local working grandmas? How many toys have you collected? As a 45-year-old child, I imagine you have a larger collection than what's behind that round and flabby head, right? Oh my god, dude, are we gonna have... Uh, we don't have any... We don't have responses from from uh the 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 eugenicist i'm sorry the phrenologist and section seven i wish we had more responses from these guys they're not here though <laughs> uh how do you not feel embarrassed being a grown man with a pokemon themed room uh, pretty simple actually pretty simple by being a grown man and not giving a shit what random people on youtube think like, people in YouTube comment sections can be some of the most toxic and caustic people, and it's a much healthier mindset to not care about what you fuckers think. It really is. You're an adult, but you have a collection of toys like children. It shows the level of your intelligence. Ah, right. So, let's assume, in, in your perfect world, that I had 250 IQ. 250 IQ. I'm not quite Eggman, but I'm close. And then I bought a single Nerf gun. I drop all the way down to double digits, right? That's what happens? That's what happens? Oh, okay. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Glad glad we had this conversation. What is this video you linked, God's Child? What magical journey are you going to take us on? Oh, boy. You took us to call for an uprising. Isn't that great? That's cool. So he made this channel called Call for a Rainbow because his channels keep on getting demonetized and keep on getting taken down. And then he makes this this third channel, maybe fourth, fuck if I know at this point, called Call for a Rainbow. But now he's gone ahead and called it Call for an Uprising. And oh, would you look at that? It's it's a little video shout out to me. He's got he's, he's got it there. He's got a little link to my channel there. Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? This guy's really sad. <laughs> okay, that's as much as I'm gonna cover. I just, I just wanted to t show you what I get in my call for an uprising comment sections. Not that you guys haven't seen it before. I've done this a few times, uh, but it's really sad. It's really sad to just watch these guys.
<laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed my comp, I am, yep, I'm tripping over my words. If you guys enjoyed my content and you want to support what I do, please go into the description and check all the links down in there. Also, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And on top of all that, if you would like to see more of my content, please hit the bell notification icon. That would be greatly appreciated. With all that said, as always, everyone, insert a video tagline here.